<laughs> You're pretty funny. So we're going to try to do a toenail term um, video, which is probably going to be one of the more problematic videos we've ever tried to do because you never know what a dog is going to do. And looking at toenails is pretty hard with the camera. Um, and she looks like everything's marvelous, but of course I haven't tried toenails yet. So I have her on a harness. I have a front attachment. Um, if she decides that she wants to leave, I'm prepared to tie her to this fence. And I'm going to give her enough room that she can move around, but that I don't have to try to keep her with me. I have a container full of cookies. This is a big hit. And I like this particular container because I can set it down in front of them and let them try to fish out treats. And it's got a narrow opening, and they can't get it. But it often keeps them pretty entertained. Um, so sometimes with some dogs, I'll do one toenail and a treat, a toenail and a treat. With a dog that's not too upset, I may do all, all the toenails on one foot and do a treat and then move to the next foot. Some dogs are a lot more sensitive with their front feet than their hind feet. So if I find that that's true, I may start at the back and instead of the front. If I have a dog that's really unhappy about this whole situation um, and time is on my side, I may, you have my head in there, you want me to lean it down. I may um, elect to do one foot treat and turn the dog loose and come back again. This stall is where we do a lot of grooming. The dogs know that something's going to go on in here. They also know that killer wonderful treats are going to go on in here too, so they don't mind coming in. So I have had historically a big phobia about trimming toenails and at this point, I am not as afraid of it, but I do truly hate it, and I worry about um, going too short and hurting the dog, but also just setting it up so that the next time the dog is worried because I, you know, you're always training for the next time. So I've come up with a system for myself. Um, people that are good at this know how short they can make toenails. I don't feel like I know that, particularly with um, really heavy toenails or black toenails. So. Um, I have a system. So, Kathy, if you can get close to this foot. So when I'm going to do a toenail, I move the hair back out of my way so I can see this. And underneath this, to this point, is, is a meaty, meaty kind of a toenail. And then there's a hook on the end. I only take the hook off. And I put my finger under the toenail in such a way that the trimmers <laughs> I know that the trimmers um, are against my own finger, so toenail trimmer like that, so that they can't get too short and even if the dog is moving around and whatnot. She's figured out there's something tasty here. So now I'm going to have a bouncy dog, so I'll give her a little bit of a snack. And I'm probably going to end up having to tie her up. Look, it's in my hand. I'm trying to feed you this. Look, Meadow. Look here. Look here. Look, see? It's a cookie. All right. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to tie the dog up because otherwise it takes me longer. Um, the dog's moving around. It's just harder. You are not going to help yourself with this. You are just a hilarious dog. Come here. Good girl. This is all part of toenail trimming. This is boring because I'm getting ready and whatnot, but this is all part of the experience of the dog. Um, so this all counts for training. So I'm going to stuff my pockets. She's going to smell my pockets and know that they're here because I don't want to stop and take the time to reach up here and get a cookie. I often trim the toenails from up over the top. Let's see how we gotta do this. Come here. Ask my girl. Yeah. Can I see this? Get your face out of there. There we are. Good job. Can I have this? Good girl. Very nice. So my fingers down here in the way so that I can't go too short. She's worried, but she's not falling apart. And there's a cookie in this for you. Whoa. So that was one foot. Give me this feet. That's my dog. That's my lovely dog. Yes. So for me, part of my comfort with it is learning to keep my finger 
in the way of the clippers going too short. I haven't been too short for a while. Of course, it'll probably be now on camera. Ah, ah. So she's worried, but we're working it out. She's got dew claws. The other one wasn't very long. So now she's still enough and I can see her from the side that I'm not having to put my hand in there. Hi. Hey cuteness, you have one more, I know. I know you have five. Far nice. would you like a piece of a cookie? Hmm? So if I didn't have her tied up, she'd be wandering all around and making me crazy and it would be a lot more drama in this session than needs to be. So mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of taking choice away from my dogs, but in this case, um, the greater good is served. I know, it's a little bit of a worry. I know it is. Yay, that is a trim dog. Yeah, what do you think? Hmm? So down here with her, she's got a little bit of play in this leash. It's off the front of her. I don't have her on a collar. We've been talking and making it a happy thing. She knows the treats are here. Can you think of anything else, Kathy? Did that, did you get any value out of that? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do two dogs. And this little dog, this is a little female dog. Um, she's pretty sweet. She's a different um, character than the other guy. And I have no idea whether he'll be better or worse, but we're gonna do two dogs so you can compare the two. But notice that this whole experience has been an experience for her from start to end. It's all been interesting and fun and there's promise of treats and I've taken my time, there's no hurry. She wants to pick her feet away from me. We can put it down, let her think about it. This is all training for the next time. Oh, this is so good. Yes. All right, you can shut it off.